Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and welcome on. Yes. We got renewed for another episode. Episode two. So don't fuck it up. Okay. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Biggie Girl's Funniest Home Videos. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's uh, get started. Fuck, fuck. I'm already fucking it up. God fuck it. <laughs> My god, man. Okay, what's this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's head. Aw. Oh no, oh no, oh no, why, why, oh! I'm legitimately holding myself right now, oh god, that hurts. Okay, I'm... I... Oh! Typical brothers. <laughs> oh, his head. Okay, I have a funny story about that. We used to go um, to Alberta to see family um, when I was younger, and we stopped in the Regina for night. And um, yeah, we uh, I jumped from bed to bed in the hotel room because uh, my grandparents both had like had their own bed or like. They had their own bed, and then I had a bed, and I was like younger than nine, uh, because uh, I know that because nine was when I lost my own own month to cancer. But um, yeah, I uh, have to make this all sappy and sad. But but I jumped from bed to bed, and I've I've fallen off the back. Uh, like the, the the far ends of the beds that 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 night, the hotel manager came up and he's like, "Ah, kids will be kids." It's funny. Oh, <laughs> aw, aw. It... Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> This is not not trying not to get sick. This is this is Big Ego's funniest home videos. What the fuck? What? Why are you making out with your dog? Ah! 
broken nose. <laughs> God damn it. That's cold, isn't it, kid? No, don't eat that. Ew. Okay, legitimate. I, I think I know what's gonna happen, but legitimate question why do people dress up their dogs? So weird. I can. I, like, I can see, like, Mark doing it just for jokes and funnies. But not to like actually go out in public and be a normal thing. Uh, it's so stupid. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Someone just got fired. Oh, I seen this. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I I have one of those punching bags at my parents' place. Yeah, those were. Yeah, I need to do toys and stuff that we did as kids because we did some pretty stupid things as kids and got some pretty dumb toys for today's standards. Even even my parents got some pretty dumb toys for our day standards, but nowadays toys are are are, are in my in my day toys were stupid for this generation standard so I'll <laughs> black eye <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah that's so Textbook reaction. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's this. Oh no. Why? <laughs> yeah. You're not even allowed to. Don't. Buy those kids any are those toys anymore for kids because the whole idea of scaring them is against the law. How does that work? How does it work uphill? Oh my god, he's eating, he's, they're eating each other, oh, raccoons. Trying to get the seed, or the food, out. Oh my god. Are you that poor? Okay, I'm gonna, I have something to about this one. I just saw what's happening. Are you that poor where your two sons have to share a bed? Okay, I there's two play structures that we owned one was or we played on as a kid as kids uh, one was at my grandparents house and one was at our house ours was the, the wood one that went into the ground theirs was just the one that sat on top of the ground um, and even the one that was in the ground we would swing so high they go whoa Whoa! From. 
Yeah. Again, and some of those things that are were that you have to be more careful of with your the, this generation that's coming, growing up now. <clears throat> Broken neck. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, there's a funny story. I was young, so don't judge me in the comments, but... The, the, we had a dog that was an absolute bully to, to me and my sisters. I was at one time playing out in the snow and he's not chained up or anything. Uh, I don't know why he wasn't chained up. I think he was one to, to run away as well as the dog that, that my parents have now. So because I, I was so young and I couldn't actually hurt him, I just gave him a little scare. I told to kick him in the side. Um, I was like eight or something. Kick him in the side and and, and um, he would stop bothering me. And he ended up stop bothering me, but he would come back and and, and bother me again. So I lo I love dogs. I would never kick a dog now or ever. That was that was just because I was young. The dog was a bully, and it's a child, so it, can, it it really hurt hurt me when I was younger. Now, if a dog tackles me, I I know how to get it off me, kind of thing. Uh, but I would never actually harm any animals. Just a disclaimer. Again, I was young. Again, eight. Being tackled by a dog is pretty traumatizing, especially when the dog was already a bully by like pushing you around or or um, n like biting at your heels. And uh, as a kid, that scares you. I don't think it actually like. I don't remember if it actually hurt or not. It just it was just like stop it, come on, it's annoying. So and this is out in the snow, so it's hard enough to walk in a big snowsuit at 8 and playing in the snow we're trudging through snow like this high and at the age of 8 basically the height of you and a dog is being a bastard to you kind of well he he was a bastard he had no dad or mom because by then they passed away so probably no, 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 yeah, then that's something in it, um, why, why, that guy is clearly disabled, like, he has those, those running feet that Paralympics, uh, para, uh, uh, athletes have, and you run into him with a bike? Oh my god, whatever, here okay. Why? That was stupid. No, no, no. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus comes falling down on you. If he was even a thing. Growing up in the south of Manitoba is awesome. Anyway, yeah. 
Why would you do it up against a sign as Jesus that says Jesus? And why would you even do it up against a sign? If you know that sign's gonna has holes and your foot will get caught and pull it actually down on top of you. Um, yeah, yeah. And that looks like a hard sign, huh? Oh. Okay, we don't need to... Austin, make sure you blur that out. Or cut that one out, please. I don't need... People criticizing me for showing naked kids on here. want some food. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Come on, you're scared. No balls. Oh. He didn't, I don't think he broke it. Oh. We had one of those pools. I'm oh, here, I'm here. Okay. I do need to do like toys and stuff that we had. I have like toys at home that I can actually show on camera. I just need a place to bring them. Like I need to have a, a an actual place, not not just this stupid area uh, place. I need an actual like house that, that um, I can actually show off like or do the toy thing from when we were kids. I don't even have all the toys that I used to have but I have most of my toys still. Uh, they were going to be saved for or they are going to be saved for when when my kids, when I have kids, so uh, my parents are wanting me to get them out of their basement, so ah, oh. oh, that's expensive too to get redone. Oh, and use glasses too. Oh, don't you just, I, I used to get ba basketballs in the face, I'm like, uh, okay, let's keep playing. Um, yeah, I never, uh, never stopped, even if my nose was like gushing blood, it, my shirt, shirts were all ruined, and I would just keep playing, there would be blood all over the floor, and people would be sliding in my own blood, but, mm, I just kept playing because I'm not a wuss, like most most of my generation kind of is now. The millennial generation, at least the ones that went to my school. A lot of them are wusses and a lot of them are actually really strong, so. Oh. oh Yeah, that was stupid. No, no, no. First of all, I know I drove those at that age, but those those quads are unsafe for for kids that age. And what they're doing is totally unsafe. Look, look watch what's gonna happen. Science here. Yep. Why would you do that on the glass table? This turned from funniest home videos to like 
why are people so stupid? Use your best minds, too. Ugh. Mine isn't even a thing anymore. I wish it was. And mine's gonna kill you. Yep, why stand on such a little stool? Oh. Ass smack. Ah ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Wait, the people the people buy their kids gators now too? By the way, that's the uh uh JD uh kind of all terrain sport vehicle or not sport vehicle work vehicle. Um it's actually really cool. I drove one when I used to go to camps to work as maintenance. Don't hurt yourself. Oh no, oh no. Yep, yep, here we go. Here you go. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Good thing there was no, that she isn't bleeding or she'll probably bleed later, but. Yeah. I've had my hair pulled. I had my sibling, and one of my siblings punch me in the back of the head as hard as she can. Yeah. Why would you do that? I, I remember when this was a thing. Like this is this is the extent of man and she stands over here. Why, why are you letting your kid eat a lemon? They don't know what, uh, that it's a sour thing, I get it, but why let them eat it if, if you know it's a sour thing and you know that they're that young and they don't, won't like it. Uh, I, I'd be a great father, let's just say that. <laughs> no, you can't do it. Oh, maybe you can, but you fail. Ew, ew. Even you, we know knew what to do with those when we were our age. Have you ever just gone out in the field, picked one, and gone, picked a pawn up, poofed, and just blew the seeds everywhere? Those are, those, that's what happens to dandelions after they, they kind of shrivel up and then they, they, they reseed. That's why you, and then when the, you're blowing the seeds everywhere and the wind blows them all over the place uh, if you don't do that and there's just fields and fields of dandelions I have at uh, my parents place uh, there's just dandelions galore in the summer like it's just uh, atrocious how many dandelions like the whole grass is basically dandelions like there's no grass there and whatever could be grass is just bald patches because our yard is so big I think it, the, the, there's some videos up on the channel that you can actually see the extent of our yard some some of it at least it's so big it's like five acres just for the yard and then there's there's field and then some uh, lakes in the in the back so 50 acre field and then add on, add on the lakes um, that we don't really count as our property, but, but it is technically part of our property. 
So, and there's a lot, to, and then grass cutting's a bitch be, hey, out there because there's four eight four or five acres of actual uh, grass to cut and yeah. oh. oh I've seen this yep yeah. it Christmas gone wrong this is disgusting this is disgusting why? Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah that's, that's stupid. stupid. Why would you do that? You're not gonna. You're not gonna make me laugh from a fart joke. Not when it's this early, at least. Yeah, it's like five thirteen a.m. here. Yeah, the fat man running all over his kids, yeah. Ah, yep, stupid. Yep, yep. No balls. Okay, balls. Oh, no. Nope, this is dumb. Why would you do this? Yep, that's why. Break your back. Isn't that just a garter snake? They're harmless. I picked them up. I've actually, young, being young, I've done worse to them, but. Because um, at the time, I thought they were pests more than. But again, I was young. I don't hurt animals anymore. I, I've grown up and I don't hurt anything anymore. I can't hurt a thing. I'm not a psychopath, I swear. Oh, well. Poor kid. Okay. Whoa. That's a smart baby. Oh. Why? Why try? Well, you didn't even try. You gave up. Oh. Okay. What? What are you doing? What the hell are you? You broke. Your, you're wrecking your car. Oh, I'll fuck your car then. Hmm. What? That's stupid. Oh. Well, you were told to move and you didn't move. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's savage. I think that. Uh, I know what happened here. Stupid. But, um. I, there is always. There is always a time when you kind of. Especially at that age. Uh, our kids don't understand adults. Well, some may say teenagers don't understand their parents either. Our parents don't understand teenagers. But there might have been like something that happened that he didn't like his mommy for or mother, as we call them when they get older. When we get older, most of us at least. Um, I know people that still call their parents mommy at my age or older. Um, but. Uh, yeah, um... I 
that, that, that's, that's bad. Unless, like, like, he didn't have a mom, then I guess that would be kind of, well, that would be okay because maybe the, maybe his mother passed away, maybe at birth or something. So I can see that now, but uh, I think that what it was trying to say is that the mother was behind the camera or something. And, um, yeah, now that video's online, and that kid's gonna, like, regret his, what he said for the rest of his life. And... Like, it's up there and no one, uh, uh, there's like thousands and thousands of copies of that video now. I'm glad that, uh, now that, that, that I think about it, sometimes I'm glad that, that we never got to, like, um, keep some of the stuff that we did or said as kids on my like, video. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that, uh, why, maybe in a different video if I do it like a, like story time because the, uh, here on the Big Eagle Variety channel we do, we try to cover as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you up there? That's that's oh yeah, that's what happens. No. Yeah. Why? Do we give the kid, kids crayons to color, they, especially like that young, or this young even? Why do we give kids coloring uh, things to color if they ju just end up putting the, the stuff in their mouths? Like it's 2019, we should be giving our kids safe things to play with, not coloring books and things to heat up in the, heat, heat up in the oven. Okay, my sister's got this bead thing that you heat up and that you make the pattern, you you put it in the in the um uh, oven and some of them are plastic and some of them are glass. You put it in the oven and it melts into that picture, in a picture that you made. Yes, it says, uh, have an adult with you to help you. Because it's, uh, but we still gave those two kids. Again, I have to go through, like, my toys versus, like, or just toys in general that either I grew up with or I know of, I knew about from my siblings growing up with. Wow, she, that, that, that sheep was stiff. Did that sheep die? Just stiff as a board. Okay, well, thank you guys for uh, sticking around for episode two of Big Eagle's Funniest Home Videos. Uh, let's hope this one works and went better or go like gets better re reviews than uh, the first one. Uh, 
Uh, like I say, the first one was before I e even moved, before I even had an editor. Um, so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know you can hear it. I see it now that you weren't able to hear. Actually, let's check the screen for, for a second. Yeah, you weren't able to hear it, but... Hopefully I would I put up enough audio uh like like actual um sound to or like uh commentary to subsidize it but uh yeah things always don't don't always work as you plan uh I have so many things on this screen and on this screen in my editor um, that uh, um, desktop audio is usually uh, like or like way and like way down on the list it, oh yeah there, okay maybe you did have it uh, in capture uh, audio output capture too. I don't know, uh, Austin, you can figure that out. If not, then uh, I'm sorry. Things are just a work in pro progress. I can't really control or not control anything. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.